Hey guys, this is step one of the St. Louis style Smithfield ribs that we are going to get up and grill. So there it is, pretty simple. We put the salt on the ribs, we got the rub all mashed in nice and good, put it in a zip top bag and throw it in the fridge until morning. Then we cook them low and slow. Who is gonna win? Is it gonna be charcoal? Or is propane gonna be victorious? We're gonna find out tomorrow when we grill these St. Louis Smithfield ribs. It is time to get up and get grilling. Well, we haven't even gotten the ribs on the grill yet, and charcoal is already champion. Now, how is that the case? Well, I have a split grill. It's half charcoal, half propane. And today is the first day I've opened it up since winter. Now, we had an unusually snowy winter at my house, and it seems that my grill cover was not up to task. So, the propane side is completely rusted out the covers that go over the propane gas holes completely rusted. We would not have gotten a good cooking surface. I wouldn't have even wanted to cook in there. It's so rusted. So, charcoal wins. Now my Plaid Dad blog partner, Aaron, will be super happy to hear this. He says charcoal is always better. I think sometimes you can't honestly tell the difference, but I was really looking forward to this. So we are going to finish getting the charcoal briquettes hot and white. We're gonna put the ribs on the grill and we will let you know what happens. So guys, our ribs are almost done. So close. They have been cooking low and slow all day long from about one to six. Now I say low and slow, they've been between about 200 and 250, but at the beginning it went up to 350 because I had way too many coals in there. I'm just not used to cooking with charcoal as much as my partner Aaron is. So he gave me some tips on text message. I pulled out some coals and then got the temperature right down to around 225 for most of the day. They are beautiful. I'm gonna show you a picture now. Mmm, ribs. I'm gonna slather on a little sauce now with my mop. You wanna see it? Bam. Okay, that's making a mess. For my mop liquid, I used a mix of apple juice and the leftover dry rub, I kind of just shook it in a container together last night and stuck it in the fridge when I put my ribs in. I thought, hey, you're supposed to use apple juice sometimes and your dry rub, why not mix them together? It made a nice thick mop juice and I think that was actually a really good idea of mine. I'm sure somebody's done it before, but I didn't read any of it on the internet. My buddy didn't tell me that, so I'm gonna claim it, my own mop juice. For my sauce, I'm gonna use Stubbs. I also use Stubbs wood chips. They're a mix of hickory and apple wood, which I thought went really good with the apple juice uh, mop mix I made. So I will let you know as soon as they're done because I'm gonna have sauce all over my face and I will be eating them with some corn on the cob 
and my kids might get some. Probably not. So the ribs are done. I had to take off my plaid shirt, so I am plaid dad sans plaid because I didn't want to get sauce all over my shirt. What did you think of the ribs, CJ? They were very good. Very good. Now, I love Smithfield ribs because I live about 30 minutes away from Smithfield. They are an old business in our area, an established business. It's lots of farmers that make up their company. So I love supporting their product. And I have tried cooking ribs before and they didn't come out right. They weren't Smithfield ribs and these came out perfect. So I don't really think I'm a grill master, but I'm gonna say these are great ribs and they're probably gonna be the only ribs I get from here on out. So, want a bite, CJ? Yeah. Give me my rib. Oh. Mm. You take my ribs again, I'm going to eat yours. Please, please, please like us on Facebook so the beatings will stop. Why won't they like you?